Welcome to my channel. If you are interested in renewable energy sources and the mechatronics surrounding them, you have come to the right place. I have many ideas that I want to realize, and this channel gives me the opportunity to share my observations, experimental results, and exchange experiences. I invite you to watch. Hi, you just saw a lot of different components, they were all used in the wind turbine model that I designed. I present you a 3D model of a universal platform for building a vertical axis wind turbine. My priority is a design for which as many parts as possible are available in technical stores, I mean agricultural stores, automotive stores, bicycle stores, etc. I minimize the need for material processing to make construction, assembly, and service as cheap as possible. Of course in accordance with technological standards and safety rules. Alright, let's bring all these objects to life then. I'm using a 140 watt laser cutter to cut plastics. The aluminum and steel parts were made by a specialized company. All screws, washers, and nuts are made of stainless steel. You're welcome to join the presentation of the components.
And now we can proceed to assemble all these components. For the purpose of this presentation, I built a model of a roof with ceramic roof tiles. The entire structure is mounted on an industrial pallet, making it mobile. I have also planned this installation on the roof of my house.
And now we can stop for a moment and return to the 3D model. I called my design the Universal VAWT platform. Why? For several reasons. The turbine arms are made from aluminum profiles, the length of which can be adjusted as needed. The steel tube serving as the rotation axis can also be shorter or longer. Additionally, we have many different mounting accessories compatible with these aluminum profiles. These few technical features of the design open up many different possibilities. We can create an H Darius turbine and add Savonius to inside or the recently popular Ubrinsky as a startup mechanism. We can completely dispense with the arms and install sample structures that use the drag force. Since I have already done some experiments, I decided to test sea rotor blades. I made them using the PMMA thermoforming method. So it's time for me to test and draw conclusions. But that's a topic for another episode. I'm also including a quick slideshow of the elements I had to make, to make it all work. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.